In this lesson, we'll finish up work on the base of the weapon. So from this point, let's go ahead and all we're going to do is, as far as adding geometry is add edges. So it'll be a little bit easier on us if we were going to do, if we wanted to do the UV layout at this point. So to do this, I'm going to add a unwrap an unwrap UVW modifier. Okay. And then I want to create a face selection and let's go ahead and select all of the faces on top. And so to help me do that, I'm going to go ahead and make sure ignore back facings on. I'll just drag across here. And so that's going to select all of these polygons. I want to deselect anything on the inside of the eyes. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just deselect anything inside there. And I want to deselect anything on the base, but I do want to have these selected. So basically everything but the bottom and the inside of the eyes. All right. And this is a fairly simple object, so we're going to just go and do a planar map on that. And make sure that we do looks like it's already aligned there. And so we'll go ahead and and go into edit so we can see what that looks like. So let me turn off the checker. So if I turn off planar, I can now move that around. Okay, and now I want to take those vertices, and they're overlapping right now, so I want to just go ahead and relax those. But before I do that, I want to give it a little bit of breathing room, so I want to cut some of these uh, points here. Okay, so I want to cut it kind of right here and right here to give it a little bit of room there. So we'll go back into our Edit UVW. And let's go to Tools, Break. And now we'll select those points and go to Relax. I'm going to relax by face angles. And let's start the relax. Go ahead and stop it. And then we've got a nicely sort of a relaxed piece that we can now rotate around. Okay. The remaining faces can go ahead and choose to select those faces. And again, I'll deselect the inside here. And I'll just do another planar map on the bottom. Okay, I'll do another planar. Go back to edit. And then allow us to see that. And then we can move that off and also smooth, uh, relax that down. And again, I'll use face angles. Okay. You can see how that's bunched up like that. What that means is we need to go back and just flip that horizontally and then we'll be good to go. So if that, if it starts to switch around on you, a lot of times you'll be able to relax it and it'll actually undo itself to, to make it right. Uh, but some other times you may have to go in and just flip that around. Okay, so these remaining faces for the inside, I'm going to just do a flatten mapping. Okay, and then go ahead and select those edges and just stitch those together. So I'll just do a stitch selected. Okay. Stitch selected and get all of these together. So let's go ahead and stitch these. And so once you have the UV layout done, then you can go in and add some of your other edges. And the UV layout's important because the maps that Modebox creates from normal maps to displacement to your ambient occlusion. Uh, everything is going to be, it's going to use those UV maps. So it's important that we have those. So we will have to do that, create UV maps for all of the pieces that we're going to be creating, uh, that we're going to be sculpting on, as well as you know anything that we're going to be painting. Okay, so I'll go ahead and bring those down. You can select all of these if you want and go to pack and it'll drop those in for you. And if you want to, you can come in and kind of tweak the the layout if you want, if you feel like it would be a little bit better another way. You can kind of rotate those around. Um, you can go ahead and just tweak that. But the main thing is to have those UVs, uh, have those UVs laid out. So maybe you want to maybe bring this down a little bit. You might get a, a little bit more, be able to scale it up a little. You might want to kind of turn it around 
just so it's a little bit clearer to you when you're looking at the map what that is. So something like that. So just get that in the 0 to 1. Now Budbox can use tiles, but for this project we're just, just going to be using the 0 to 1 tile. Alright, so once we've got our UVs done, I'm going to go ahead now and just collapse the stack. And so when we take this into Mudbox, let's say we want some of these edges to be a little bit sharper. So in that case, for instance, on these eyes, we want that to be a little bit sharper. We can come in and just add some edge loops in there to actually help that. And so maybe we want this to be a bit sharper around here. Okay, maybe right around the base of this we want to be a little bit sharper. Maybe we want these uh, corners to be a little sharper. We can come in and add some resolution in there. Okay, to kind of sharpen it up a little bit. Alright, so the uh, the next thing we want to do is go in and start to create some of the other pieces and we'll start to accelerate our uh, curve a little bit as we go. Uh, that we're going to do the same process here as far as building the geometry, uh, laying out the UVs for the geometry, and then adding any, ed any edge loops that we want to be able to shore up the shape of the geometry. So we'll go through the that same process on some of the other pieces. We'll just do it a little bit more quickly, and we may skip over some of the re more repetitive uh, things that we're going to be doing. So that's the idea. We'll start building on this piece, and we'll start with the large blades that we're going to be making uh, that are going to be kind of back here. So we'll go ahead and do that starting in the next lesson.